welcome you back inside and Tom Gordon takes over. Well we talked about the importance of an ace in a starting rotation of Pedro Martinez Jimmy Williams not electing to go to Pedro Martinez today hoping that they would get to game five and using him tomorrow night in Cleveland. Well he is not playing around with his one to nothing game in the eighth inning going to his closer. Gordon who faces the pinch hitter Cora strike one. You do not see too many closers going two innings. But Tom Gordon is well rested. He did not work yesterday. He has had two days off Thursday and yesterday. He pitched in game two allowed one run in one inning and you look at the regular season for Gordon which was credible 46 saves and a major league record 43 consecutive saves pretty good combination a hard high fastball and a good curveball Cora pops it into left field back to get it O'Leary puts it away one down. So the leadoff man is gone here in the eighth inning and this copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without expressed written consent. One out back to the top of the order and Kenny Lofton who's 0 for 3. Huge numbers against Tom Gordon. For Lofton. Lofton shatters his bat and drops a base hit into center field. So Kenny is one out of four, and there's the tying run Lofton on here in the eighth inning with Vizcal and Justice coming up. Lofton stole 54 bases in the regular season, was caught 10 times, and he is one for one in this division series. Fastball for a strike to his kill. Gordon quick pitched Lofton then. Kenny did not have a chance to get a good jump at first base. The tying run Lofton at first with one out here in the eighth. Into right field. That's a base hit for Vizquel. Back-to-back -back singles for Lofton and Vizquel here in the eighth inning with the Indians down by one. Red Sox fans probably thinking, wouldn't you know it? They get the start from Shorick, five and a third inning, shutout baseball on only two hits. Derek Lowe, an inning and two thirds. He was perfect, striking out two. And then the guy who's been most automatic this season, Tom Gordon, comes in and gives up back to back hits after one was out to Lofton and Vizcal with Justice digging in. A strike from Gordon. We look back, game two. David Justice in the second inning. This shot with a couple on, two out, a three run blast to help the Indians win game two back in Cleveland. Lofton is stealing third, and no throw by Hatterberg. The tying run is 90 feet away with one out. It is interesting to watch a base stealer like Lofton when he's on second base. He walks into the line to stay mobile. He doesn't walk away from the base. Watch him walk into the line. Bang, he's gone. No throw. Now first and third with one out and Justice into deep right center field. In to score is Lofton. Digging for third and now digging for home is Vizquel. A two-run double by Justice. It's two to one Cleveland in the eighth. And Fenway Park is dead quiet. Except for the Indian dugout as Cleveland has overtaken the Red Sox here in the eighth inning.
A fastball to Lofton and then to Descal and now to Justice. Once again, Justice has a chance to extend those long arms and he doubles to the deepest part of the ballpark, allowing Vizquel to score also. And for the first time in this game, behind David Justice, his second double in a row, the Indians take the lead. Still only one out, and Justice is at second for Manny Ramirez, who hits it hard, but right at Ballantin. His throw across in plenty of time, two out. Fryman takes a ball. We haven't seen the curveball yet. Nope. To our knowledge, there is nothing wrong with Tom's elbow. That would prevent uh, him throwing the curveball. But he has not featured the curveball in this inning. Two balls, no strikes on Fryman. And I'll say it again. The Red Sox get five and a third shutout innings from Pete Shurek. The game in which most here in Boston thought Pedro Martinez should throw. Derek Lowe, an inning and two thirds, perfect with two strikeouts. And Tom Gordon, who had one blown save in the regular season, has given up the lead here in the eighth inning. Ryman takes Lowe, and the count goes to three and oh. How about that? It's almost six months since Flash Gordon gave up a save and blew a save. Wow. Fryman waits for a 3-0 pitch. Will he cut it loose? Time called at the plate by Tim Sheeta, the home plate umpire. Low for ball four, and after Cora lined out to left field, we've seen a single, a single, a two run double, the smash to third by Manny Ramirez for the second out, and now a walk handed out by Gordon to Travis Fryman. That's a good point, Joe, because even the two outs in this inning have been hit hard. Two on, two out, two runs in for Cleveland. One ball, one strike. on first and second with two out. Tommy trying to add to the lead. Up on the count two and one. The Red Sox will have Valentin, Vaughn, and Garcia Parra to the plate in the bottom of this eighth inning. takes ball three, three and one. Great shot of that couple from excited to pensive, and that kind of defines the crowd here at Fenway right now. Tom Gordon trying to end a long top of the eighth inning. Only two runs in for Cleveland as Tommy chased one three and two. Tommy ready to unload, and Gordon got it faster. Second baseman Benjamin, three loud outs, two big runs, driven in by David Justice. Part of the order coming up, bottom of the eighth, two to one Cleveland. <laughs> 